We are finally back. Yay. We are so thrilled to be back in Italy, back at the stone house here in the foothills of the Italian Alps. And, and look at that. That's There's snow no on top of a mountain, <laughs> which just like filled our souls as we walked up to the property and, and saw that. And we, we just could not be more happy to be back. Yeah, we have a lot to catch you guys up on and a lot of work to do. So first up, we need to get some work done and then we will try to catch you up on everything that's been going on. Wow. We're back. It's a disaster. <laughs> it's a disaster. <laughs> so if you remember back a while ago, the last time we were here, we had finished up the concrete foundation and we were kind of in a rush to get that going before we had to leave. So we did kind of leave this place a disaster and we have a lot of things getting ready to, to kick off we're gonna be moving really quickly really soon so we need to get all of the stuff cleared out and make room for the work to begin well, what about this beam look how the beautiful, beam is that beautiful. Is. Come on. this is staying I mean <laughs> we might have to put it someplace safe but isn't it gorgeous yes I love it <laughs> okay. okay. So all tools, if you could take out to the garage as close to it as yep. possible. Sounds good. Oh, Whoop. Don't we fall. Oh gosh, okay. You okay? Yep. So yes, as Heather was saying, we do need to completely empty out this entire house, but uh, taking the tools to our tool shed is now a uh, challenge in and of itself as the property is now vastly different than the last time you saw it. We had an excavator here the prior week, completely changing things up and look forward to showing you that, but it does mean it's gonna be challenging to even get to our tool shed. So as I mentioned, uh, the issue we're having now is that we can't very easily get to our tool shed as we had an excavator here doing a lot of work, quite a few projects. One of them was uh, tearing out this entire area beneath me here, um, flattening out this lower terrace, um, which was certainly um, terrifying work to have happening while I was not um, here, but I trust the guys that we're working with, they're, they're after all experts. But then it's a very steep and uh, sudden, probably two meter drop. Uh, and now it's a little difficult to take the tools uh, to the garage because of this drop off. It's a bit crazy. I'm thinking, what if you hand me buckets? So we did promise that when we got back to Italy, things would be moving along very fast with big changes. And uh, I didn't expect to jump into an immediate one without showing you the transformation, but uh, schedules just aligned that way. And we had an excavator crew start um, about a week before we got back so that they could get ahead based on their availability. And now this entire terrace, an 80 meter long terrace is completely flattened, which is extremely nice for us and being able to uh, currently walk around and enjoy the property because I don't know if you remember, but this terrace used to slope fairly dramatically at a very steep grade to the point that um, the kids couldn't walk on this terrace. They weren't allowed to come down here um, and it was difficult for us to walk around. But the purpose of actually doing all of this digging was to uh, flatten the area out and build a foundation and then actually build a new terrace wall. So in one of our previous videos, we showed you guys what we had planned to do behind the house, digging out 
all behind the house and building new rooms and, and lots of exciting things. And that creates a problem for where do we put all of that dirt. And one solution that we had come up with is actually building a wall here. So it would be a place where we could dump the dirt and actually extend out the terrace in front of the house so that it would be more yard space for the kids to play in and things like that. So that was our original plan. So that is why this entire terrace has been completely leveled and flattened in order for them to uh, build a foundation, build a very large wall, and then that would give us a place to put all of the dirt. Now, now, upon digging, <laughs> um, we ran into some, we'll call them geological constraints that um, further complicated um, the original uh, plan. So uh, we, we have some things to work through and some um, problems to solve. We have um, a solution moving forward, but we're just finalizing some of those details. So we'll um, figure that out and fill you guys in as soon as possible. Now, of course, while it's really nice to have this terrace uh, flat and more usable, it is completely torn up and it's kind of not very nice taking one step back, two steps forward and seeing it um, torn up like this. But I'm thinking, sorry, my head is blocking your oh, shadow. Oh no, it's okay. <laughs> it's go. nice to have you not the it's sun very bright. in my eyes. <laughs> my solution to all of this is we possibly should think about flying out John Newby and having him spend 16 Aww. weeks walking barefoot along this, smoothing it out. Yeah, that would <laughs> be quite fun. A, he has quite a bit of experience doing that. <laughs> So something else that they have done while we have been away is that they have fixed the road, which is such a huge win for us because we could not drive up to the property for the last few months because of all of the huge holes and things. Those have now been filled in. If you remember a while ago, the reason we couldn't drive up is because there was a huge rainstorm that washed away the road basically. And so we couldn't come up here um, with the car. We had to hike up. So that is a really big win. It's now all beautifully leveled out and we can drive up here easily. So I'm sure you guys know by now how obsessed we are with AG1 and that Heather and I have been taking it for the last year. AG1 is a daily foundational nutritional supplement packed with 75 high quality vitamins and minerals, sourced from whole food ingredients and supports mental clarity, focus and energy and supports your immune system. The ingredients in AG1 not only help support healthy aging, but also helps support cardiovascular health, cellular health, brain support, and even combats the visible signs of aging. Heather's mom recently started taking AG1 just a couple of weeks ago and says she already notices the benefits. To me, the increased energy, the mental focus, having less stress, all of that makes it completely worth it. Not to mention the fact that I'm making a long-term investment into my cardiovascular health and supporting healthy aging. But as with any habit, there have been a couple of times over the last year where I've forgotten to take my AG1, I've gotten too busy, and maybe a week or two has gone by, and that's when I notice my energy levels start to drop, my mental focus isn't quite as good, and even my mood drops and my ability to handle stress, which is how I know these vitamins and minerals included in AG1 are so important for me. All you have to do is mix one scoop into 12 to 16 ounces of water. It has a very refreshing taste. It's got hints of pineapple, apple, vanilla, and the perfect amount of sweetness. This is one of those products that we are so thrilled to be able to share with you, and we really would encourage you to give it a try. Right now, if you scan the QR code on screen or use the link in the description, you will get a one-year supply of vitamin D3 and K2 and five free travel packs and there's even a 90 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to lose. So take a minute to scan the QR code or click on our link in the description because not only does visiting the website through our link directly help support our family, but more importantly, it gives you a chance to check out the website and see if AG1 is right for you. So go ahead, do it for your health, check out the website and thank you so much to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. So we've completely run out of time. We have um, these ceiling beams to finish that we've worked on in the kitchen. And we need to get this floor down yeah. because construction <laughs> and crews are going to be moving very quickly soon. Uh, so I finally I bit the bullet and bought some proper scaffolding so I'm no longer hanging from the rafters. <laughs> it's going to be a long day. In theory, this should be pretty easy to set up.
That's a big difference. That's awesome. And then I can just roll you down the line. <laughs> I'll, I'll just down. pick you up on this side and I'll no, that's, roll you. <laughs> that's going to make a huge difference. That's awesome. Super annoying to assemble, but um, that'll be... That'll make a room go five times faster. Which we need. <laughs> yeah, no time. This time of year is extremely quiet here because one, it's very cold, so there's not a lot of activity. There's no uh, grass to cut or hay to mow down. There's not a lot of movement around the valley. And even though sound travels so much further, the air is thinner and you can hear further away. I can actually hear a river going about a kilometer away and the occasional <laughs> rooster crowing. It's that peace and quiet and tranquility that I've been craving these last couple of months as we've been um, experiencing busy city life and culture, which is a beautiful thing to experience, but coming back here to be recentered, that's what I've needed.
So in a minute, I'll take the camera over to the kitchen where we've uh, finished the beams over there to uh, give you a reminder, give myself a reminder of the uh, insanity that it is taking these beams from their current position to where we want them to be. Uh, we're pretty pleased with the results. It's definitely a thing that you either love it or you hate it, and thankfully we love it. Um, probably should have started in this room as my uh, experimentation um, because it took me an entire room to kind of figure out my technique and what works and now I'm happy with it and it's moving along rather quickly. <laughs> So really quick, I wanted to head back into the kitchen just as a reminder for what we are working on here. It's a little difficult to tell us. We don't have any lights in here currently, but this is the look that we're going for. We're going for a dark chestnut look, hand hewn feel to uh, take these, what are new beams and turn them into what they would have looked like if they were hand hewn. The same process that I'm taking the beams for over the doorways through. It's definitely a long, tedious process, but for us, we really like that look. And I really wish we were able to get a little bit further this week, but um, as I mentioned, we faced some unexpected geological restrictions. So that put us into a long week of meeting with experts and uh, doing boring things like looking over budgets and uh, making big decisions, that kind of a thing. Uh, but next week we should have um, all of the answers. We are pretty sure we know which direction we're moving and we will let you guys know next week. So since it has been so long, we thought we'd give a, um, a little bit of a, I guess, personal update here. Um, we've been gone for three months. Most of you um, are aware mm -hmm. of that. Um, and we had to leave for a variety of reasons that we've explained um, before. And we were actually quite excited to go out and mm -hmm. to travel again because that's um, up until this point in our life what we've valued the most out of life. Yeah. And it was really good to go back and see family it and to yeah. travel a little bit. Yeah. But it very quickly <laughs> shifted. We and, were surprised actually yeah. how quickly we were like, okay, like, um, let's we, go home. <laughs> yeah. We, we got homesick really we fast. Did. Yeah. And um, which was, it kind of was a bit of an identity crisis. It was a bit shocking to us because um, that's not something that we've really expected, I guess, out of ourselves. We are pretty nomadic. We've been nomadic for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've enjoyed yeah. the most out of life. And it was actually one of the big reasons why we settled here so mm -hmm. that we could continue to mm -hmm. be nomadic but have a home base. But what we realized in traveling um, the last few months is that we just want to be home. It's so <laughs> nice to have a routine and a place that's, you know, yours, a place yeah. that you feel like you belong. And I, um, I longed yeah. and yearned to get back to building mm -hmm. our home and to, to have those normal mm -hmm. rhythms. Yeah. And, um, which is, I mean, such a great thing because we have such a beautiful thing here mm -hmm. And there's a lot more to do to, to a lot of turn it into um, a, a livable home. But um, I don't know. It, it was a little bit of an identity crisis um, with a positive ending because that's what we're currently yeah. doing. Uh, so Yeah, I think it's really interesting because, you know, I don't know if it's our age or what. We're, we're, get, we're, getting, we're getting we're getting like heading yeah. into our midlife <laughs> years. And, you know, it's just it makes you kind of look at your priorities and figure out what is most important. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's really I think it's it's good um, mm -hmm. that we're seeing it's it's a a more stable life, I think. Are we getting more mature? <laughs> maybe, maybe. Uh, surprisingly, the kids uh, didn't really agree with us, especially Alexa. She's like, what are you talking about? Like, I love traveling. <laughs> she loves the unsettled life. Yeah. She thrives in that. Um, but for us, I think we're just getting too old for that. I so. think Chloe is more a bit more like she is. on our page yeah. of like, yeah, I mean, it's fun, but she kind of, she really just wants, you know, her own place to play and, yeah. and have friends and all of that kind of stuff. But... 
Um, all that to say, you know, we are, we're really excited to be back and to be able to move forward and, and make this house a home, you know, it's, uh, we're ready to get, get going. So things will start moving very quickly soon. Um, and yeah, we're just really excited. Well, thank you so much for your patience while we've been gone for so long. And thank you for coming back and supporting us today by watching this video. As a quick reminder, if you could uh, scan our QR code with your camera or click on our direct link, I know this sounds strange, but by simply visiting the AG1 website through our unique links, really does directly help support our family. And it truly is a product that we very much believe in. But thank you so much for watching and we will see you next week.